welcome to our June selection. Because our main album, our lead album of the month this month is Minor Victories. This is a kind of a post-rock supergroup with members of Mogwai, Slow Dive and the editors. And this is an amazing, big, brooding, epic album. Epic is the word to describe it. It is a fantastic album. And it's also available on clear vinyl, just via Rough Trade as well, which is really nice. Okay, second up, we have got Max Dury. He's been bubbling under now for a year or so. He played in the West Shop here as a, a just solo with a keyboard. A year, 18 months ago, it was fantastic. Now he's come up with his album and it's less country and more singer-songwriter in that classic tradition of West Coast America. So it's a bit like Tobias Gesso Jr. meets Harry Nielsen, I guess, or with a bit of Graham Parsons just thrown in. And if you get it from us, you get this four track CD of covers, including covers from David Whiffen and uh, Willis Allen Ramsey. Great little covers, that is. Um, third up this month, we have Whitney. This is a summer album for summer albums. This is pure sunshine pop, a bit too much like uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates for my personal taste, but we are selling shitloads of it. This is a really lovely album. Next up, we have Amber Arcades on the ever reliable Heavenly Records. She is a Dutch girl and it's in that style of Mazzy Star or maybe like a happy Mazzy Star or a Saint Etienne. Some, maybe not quite as poppy as Saint Etienne. But again, this is a really lovely album. Again, a nice summer album. We're doing our best for you. I don't know what's in the water of Perth, Australia, but this is an, another band from Perth, the home place, home of Tame Impala. And this is the same sort of thing, maybe not quite as poptastic as the latest Tame Impala, but this is psychedelic Australian rock. This is a really good album, really good. And they're over here, signed to 4AD, over here playing at the moment, I think. Jesse Lanza. She goes out with a guy from Junior Boys and he's produced this album. This is on the super cool Hyperdub label, but it is more poptastic than most Hyperdub albums. This is pop, electronic, cool, very good. Um, Fiona Bryce on Bella Union. She has done string arrangements for people like John Grant and she's also played with Jay-Z, Robbie Williams. So imagine some Shostakovich string quartets, something like that, or um, a bit Max Richtery, shorter songs or shorter pieces. This is a really lovely album and definitely one to invest a bit of time in, I would say. Really nice album. Okay. Um, Cat's Eyes. This is Faris and Rachel and it's the last record they did was the soundtrack to the Duke of Burgundy uh, which was kind of thinking man's art house porn film which was a great film um, and this is the same sort of thing with beautiful soundtracks quite noodly but nice little songs this is a, a lovely album again Daniel Romano, as you all know, one of my favourites. He's got to be in there. This is less country, bad thing, but more psychedelic, not such a bad thing. This is country like Lee Hazelwood would do it, almost karaoke country. This is a fantastic album, a cracking album. Maybe one of the best this month. Finally, we have got Gold Panda. Gold Panda. This is his third album, inspired by a trip to Japan. And if you like, you know, hot chip craft work, modern electronic music, this is the one for you this month. This is our 10 for this month. Everyone a cracker. There you go. Bye. No.